It's an eight-letter word, and the clue is he's on a restricted diet. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. Thank you, Charlie Tuna, and welcome to Scrabble, the television version of everyone's favorite game. Today, our jackpot and our bonus sprint stands at 1,500. Hopefully, it'll be building all day long. And uh, Charlie has our first two players, and here they are. She's an elementary school teacher. He's our champion. From Manhattan Beach, California, Susan Riley. And originally from Yonkers, New York, John Bernardo. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Susan? Fine, Jack. Good. Tell us about yourself. I live in Manhattan Beach, California with my son Kyle, 11 years old. Hi, Kyle. And I teach third grade here in Los Angeles County. So you have to drive quite a bit, don't you? Um, I'll tell you what, I lived in Manhattan Beach for almost two years. A little over two years, about two and a half years. My daughter went to school in West L.A. People in Peoria are going to really be wondering about this. But it took us four hours a day on the freeway to take her to school and back. So I moved. Only the day of the riot did it take me that long to Oh, get well, home. that's another story. Yeah, it took everybody four hours to get any place. Anyway, nice to have you here, Susan. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, nice to be to here. You. Hi, John. Hi, Chuck. Welcome back. Thank you. John has $1,500, uh, new to California, and having a good time. Tell us right. more about yourself, John. Well, I said yesterday that I was a film student. I also do freelance video, and a few years ago, I was on an expedition in the Bermuda Triangle that we were, I was videotaping as they try to dig up sunken ships oh, or planes. Interesting. How mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, nice to have you back. Thank you. Uh, Susan, you, you, won, you didn't win the toss. You're the challenger. That's what it is. You're going to go first. We're going to play Scrabble till somebody gets three uh, words right, then that player goes on to our Scrabble sprint channel the bonus worth 1500 uh, Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter D. There are nine letters in the word, and the clue is women often get upset when he drops through. Drops what? No, wait, no, you got to bear with me on this one. Women often get upset when he drops what? Trow. Trow? Trow. They get upset when he drops trow. I, listen, I have no idea. Obviously, okay. I don't. I have no idea. I just either. figured it was a typo. Go ahead, Susan. Okay, I'll take the eight and the one. E or a D? Uh, I'll place the E. Women often get upset when he drops trow. I'll place the D. <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Stopper, John? I don't even know what trow is. So I I'll don't take either. The two. I had to, I've never heard of it. And the three. You, this has got to be Gary's. R, please. Am I right, Gary? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> I knew it. Only Gary would write something this strange. And the U. And the U. Women often get upset when he drops trow. Uh, I don't know. I'll take the four and the seven. Uh, the E, please. Oh, and, and just keep on going. The in. R. Well, it's worth $500 if you have any idea what this is. Women often get upset when he drops trow. I have an idea, but it's not worth it. Let's take the five. Oh. <laughs> it's not going to get... And the nine. And... Well, I'll guess what I was going to guess. Thunderer? No. That's why I didn't guess. It's nothing to Last do with... Time. Thunder has nothing to do with trow. I don't know what trow is. Though. I don't either. <clears throat> okay, Susan, it's up to you. Uh, okay, I'm not sure, so I think I'll take the 11. An R or a Y? <clears throat> uh, I, I think they're both stoppers, but I'll place the R. You're right, they are. Take the six. L or a Y? L. Well, there you go. Lo Launderer. Launderer, that's correct. I really think we need to meet in the hall and have a, uh, have a little conference on this. What is trow? Trow is short for trousers. Trow is short for trousers to whom? To te teenagers and young To teenagers? Am I that old? Are you saying no? Are all the teenagers saying no? I'm not that old. I, I never heard that in my life. I never want to hear it again. Okay, John. Building on the letter E in launderer, six letters in the word, and the clue is some women are left with broken ones after their husbands leave. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Susan, it's yours, yes. I'll take six 
And the five? I and an H. Uh, I'll place the H, Chuck. Some women are left with broken ones when their husbands leave. Uh, place the I. It's worth a thousand dollars in the bonus jackpot if you can tell me what it is right now. Uh, no, I don't know. No? Okay. Well, if you know it, know it. Go ahead. Dishes? That's right. It is dishes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's the way to do it. Just a minute, you admit you don't know it, it comes to you sometimes. Okay, John, building on the letter I in dishes, there are six letters in the word. The clue is some great ones have been delivered in our nation's capital. Okay, I don't know it. Let's take the one and the six. It's worth a thousand, but there's it's, it's there's no yeah. A, please. <laughs> <laughs> some, uh, some great ones have been delivered in our nation's capital. Oh. Now that's a stopper, Susan. Uh, I don't know it, Chuck, so I'll take the four. I have a Z. And a three. And a D. Uh, I'll place the D. John? Well, um, let's take a tile. It can't hurt. Take the P. Some great ones have been delivered in our nation's capital. Pizza. Yeah, pizza. Yeah. You just don't know what to be afraid of anymore, do you, Susan? Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Last one's up to you. We're in speed word. Susan's trying to tie it up. John's going for the game. And we're building on the letter A in pizzas. Seven letters in the word. And the clue is it's used during a ceasefire. Ready? Go. It's used during a ceasefire. It's used during a ceasefire. Susan. Hydrant. That's right. It is hydrant. Yes. It's all tied up, anybody's game. Staying in speed word, building on the letter H in hydrant, there are five letters in this word, and the clue is... He had stomach problems. Ready? Go. He had stomach problems. John. Jonah? Jonah is the one, yep, he had stomach problems. Well, you did great, Susan. You were just, I mean, he's such a great player. You did real good. It was a lot of fun. Was it fun? I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. We have a party gift for you. Charlie's going to tell you about it. Susan, for you, we have New Braunfels Smoker Company, the Cattleman's Heavy Gauge Steel Smoker Grill Barbecue Center. Offset firebox for deep, rich smoke flavor. Professional results furnished by New Braunfels Smoker Company. Now, I don't get it. That's terrific. What a great prize. Thank you. That is a great prize. I mean, you know, we got the, the lattice work cocktail table and that. I mean, that's hardly like... Okay. No, I agree. I'm about to meet you, too. Oh, you're sweet. Thank you, Susan. Yeah. All right, John. John has uh, $2,000 now. He's going to establish a time in Scrabble Spring. We'll be right back. Stay with us. What did you look at? Scrabble and Chuck Wallery. Bunch of money in the jackpot. You're up here waiting for that. You're doing good, John. $2,000. Going to establish a time. One of the next crosswords. Going to try to beat that time. Mind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And no stoppers. All the letters are good. Right. First word, five letters. They're bug specialists. They're bug specialists. Ready? Yes. Go. S. P. S. They're bug specialists. I. Five. That's right. Oh. Second word, seven letters. It rises in the east. It rises in the east. Ready? Mm hmm. Go. E. U. F. F. It rises in the east. L. Souffle? Yes. Those are tough. John, don't get down on yourself. These are no, not I'm easy. No, I'm not, but they're there, and I'm yeah. like. Third word, <laughs> eight letters. The accidental tourist. The accidental tourist. Ready? Um, yes. Go. Y. S. W. The ac Stowaway. That's right. I mean, give me a break. That's that one great. I got. Sure. Yeah, that's that's great. We all noticed that. Yeah. The last word has nine letters. A honeymoon suite. A honeymoon suite. Ready? Uh huh. Go. C. A. T. Honeymoon suite. C. H. U. Chocolate. Yes. Yeah. Now that one might have gone a little faster. That's the only one that I agree may have gone a little faster. Right. 
But other than that, 28.5, I think that's what it is. We're going to find a challenger. Be right back at you, Reddit. <laughs> John's our champ. Charlie has two challengers. He's going to introduce them right now. Charlie? She's in sports marketing. He's a paralegal. From Boca Raton, Florida, Michelle Jaminé. And originally from Ridgewood, New Jersey, Greg Jackson. All right. Nice to have you both here. How are you, Michelle? What? Well, we've just Boca raton all this week because John used to live there. I heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. Tell us about yourself. I'm in sports marketing. I promote and coordinate sporting events, everything from golf to tennis to boxing. Really? Mm -hmm. well, now, who boxing would you, would you promote? Oh, just local fights. I even took boxing myself. You did? I mean, you like... Sparring. What kind of jab you had? <laughs> uh, me, left double jab. A left double jab. Oh, okay. It's nice to have you here, Michelle, and we'll keep on good terms. Hey, Greg. Hi. Tell me about yourself. Uh, I recently moved to Los Angeles uh, from New York, where I lived for 10 years, and I'm studying for master's in film. Great. Nice to have you both here. Who won the toss backstage? I did. All right. Here we go, Michelle. Building on the letter E, eight letters in the word, and the clue is some women pluck them before a big dinner party. Okay. I'll take tile number eight and tile number five. F on an R. Place the F, please. No, stop her, and may it, it may work to your advantage. Greg, we'll see. Okay, I don't have a guess. I will take four. I have a Y and an R. Um, I'll take a guess. Chickens? Uh, actually, I, well, I, well, before we do this, i got to tell you something. Unfortunately for you, since you picked a Y or an R, and I can't to tell you whether you're right or not, you must use one of the letters. Okay. And if it disqualifies you, then it's just tough, Greg. Because <laughs> you already picked the letter, so uh -huh. spend one. A Y. Sorry, it's a stopper. Michelle. Chicken. Thank, thank Greg very much. Thank you, Greg. That's just, you know, as unfortunate as, as it is, it's just one of those rules that once you pick a tile, you have to use it. So you're uh -huh. committed to fail. You had two stoppers up there, and there's just nothing you could uh -huh. do about it. Uh -huh. And I'm sorry that happened, Greg, but here we go back with you. Let's build on the letter I in chickens. Seven letters in the word. The clue is, far be it from me. I don't have a guess, so I will pick three and six. I have a B and an E. Far be it from me. I'll place the B. That's a stopper, and they work to your advantage. We'll see, Michelle. Okay, tile number five, please. Have a P and an E. Place a P, please. Far be it from me. I'm not sure. Place the E, please. Still don't know it. Tile number seven. Chance for a lot of money up here. And tile number four. A J. And an R. Place the R, please. Last position in the word, far be it for me, $1,000. I know I should know, but I don't. Uh, place the J, please. Well, maybe this will help. This is the first position in the word, and it's worth $1,000. Far be it for me. Jupiter? That's exactly right. Yeah. Well, she never gave it up, Greg. <laughs> You're having terrible luck. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh, but uh, it's really kind of... You know. Building on the letter R in Jupiter, there are seven letters in the word, and the clue is some girls have a hard time getting out... <laughs> Wait a minute. Some girls have a hard time getting out of it on a date. Give you $1,000 if you have any idea what it is right now. Some girls have a hard time getting out of it on a date. Yes. I don't have a clue, okay. so I will take number five <clears throat> and number nine. I have an S and an E. I'll place the S. I'll place the E also. Some girls have a hard time getting out of it on a date. Uh, I don't know. I will pick two and eight. Yeah, I'm going to know. Date. I don't know. I'll place the M. Mm. Okay, Michelle. I'll take tile number six, please. Z and an O. Place the O, please. Some girls have a hard time getting out of it on a date. 
corsage. That's an interesting picture, I, I have to admit. I, I just can't get out of this corsage! That's a big corsage. Okay, Greg. Okay, uh, I don't know. I'll pick another time. All right. Three. A Z or a C? I'll try the C. Some girls have a hard time getting out of it on a date. I'll take a guess. A Porsche? That's right. Porsche. You're back in this, Greg. Bell means we're out of time, uh, running short on time anyway. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. The last one's up to you. Uh, Greg is trying to tie it up. Michelle is going for the game, building on the letter E and Porsche. Uh, six letters in the word. The clue is she deals with a lot of washed up men. Ready? Go. She deals with a lot of washed up men. Michelle. Geisha? Geisha is exactly right, yes. Once that first one happened to you with chickens, it was really tough to recover after that. We have a grill for you, though. You get the grill. So you're happy about that, I, I assume? Delirious. Thank you. Thanks for, thanks for coming on the show. All right. We'll leave Delirious Greg behind us, and Michelle's our champ, or our challenger, legitimate right now, 500. She's going to go try to beat Joe's time right after this, or John's time. Thank you. Scrabble and Chuck Wallery. All right, John Bernardo, to uh, 28.5. That's the time you set for four words. Michelle Gemini is going to try to beat that time. Same four words. Reminds you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. Mm -hmm. And there are no stoppers. All the letters are good. Okay? Uh, first word has five letters. They're bug specialists. They're bug specialists. Ready? Ready. Go. S E S they're bug specialists. P. Spies. That's correct. Second word, seven letters. It rises in the east. It rises in the east. Ready? Ready. Go. E. F. L. It rises in the east. Souffle. That's correct. The third word, the accidental tourist. The accidental tourist. Ready? Ready. Go. Y. W O The Accidental Tourist W S T Stowaway That's correct. The last word has nine letters. You have 5.3 seconds left. Okay? A Honeymoon Suite A Honeymoon Suite Ready? Ready. Go. C E L A Honeymoon Suite wasn't too much chocolate's what we were looking for. You see, you were nervous, weren't you? Yes. Yes, you saw her nail souffle and made you a little nervous. Yeah, sure. But I, I kept telling him, I said, you know, you had a fast time. If anything could have gone faster, probably chocolate because they were hard. But souffle, you picked up on right away. He had to struggle with that. The rest of them stole away. He nailed really early. I mean, it was impressive. Uh, but chocolate cost him, and it cost you too. So I guess it wasn't that easy. Michelle, $500. Thank you very much. We enjoyed having you on the show. John is going to come back and try for $5,000 right after this. Stay with us. Good job. Scrabble and Chuck Willery. So John Bernardo is going to try for $5,000. And John, I'll let you read the rules. What are they? Uh, remind you to hit the plunger. That's what stops the clock. There are no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. You may have a job. Thank you. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Two words under 10 seconds. Okay. He lives in a mobile home. He lives in a mobile home. Ready? Yes. Go. T. L. Ye you. He lives in a mobile home. T. Turtle. Yes, 4.2 seconds. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we just give him the money. <laughs> Don't say that. No, oh, no, this but is... But I'll take it. Yeah, we'll skip okay, this. seven letters. They go round and round without end. They go round and round without end. Well... Ready? Sure. Go. 
S C Circles. Thank you very much, yes. So I said, give him the money. <laughs> you got it. $5,000. I knew you were having trouble with that one. I know, not the thing. I know, you should have, though. And you, it was, yeah, you should have. All right, $5,000. Bonus Brent starts all over tomorrow. Uh, John's up to $8,000. He'll be back to try for it. We'll see you all then. Bye bye, everybody. Some members of our studio audience will receive outdoor products quality travel gear made in the USA. Great for travel or outdoor recreation use. Life is a journey. We'll help you pack. Furnished by outdoor products. The following companies have paid a fee for product promotion. Cornicetin for use at the first sign of a cold or flu. It'll relieve all your major symptoms fast and help keep them from getting worse. Cornicetin D, the sooner the better. At last, nationally advertised nail products at an affordable price. Fancy fingers, sculptured nails, acrylic or gel. Quality made affordable by Lee Nails. Schoenbeck Sterling Collection, designed by Arnold Schoenbeck. Classical styling formed entirely of the intense brilliance of crystal from Schoenbeck. Is a Wrench Grundy production.